Hello, everybody, and welcome to Open EXO Live. It's great to be with you. I'm Kevin Allen, Chief Community Officer at Open EXO. And today we have quite a special Open EXO. We have Anastasia and Jillian, who are part of the core uh, team at Open EXO. And as you can see on the screen as well, there are some amazing folks coming up in the next couple of weeks. And of course, as usual, before we get uh, Jill and Anastasia up on stage, we did ask a few folks uh, within the community to share a few words uh, about them. And so the first one here comes from Dea, and she just said, I've been working with Anastasia and Jill for quite a while now, and I cannot stop admiring their commitment and professional work. They are like the backbone of the OpenEXO community, doing amazingly meticulous work to help us all grow. They respond to questions in real time, always have an appropriate answer, and they do it in such a kind fashion that simply makes the whole experience of working with them unforgettable. Next, we have from uh, Francisco. I've had the opportunity to work with Anastasia and Jillian during a few initiatives for the Open EXO community, and we just finished the EXO Foundations in Portuguese. They are key members supporting our community, always diligent and helpful. I hope we can work together again shortly. We then have uh, from Lisa, I have worked on a few projects with Jillian and Anastasia, and even though they are across the world, even though we are across the world from each other, I know I can always depend on them. They are reliable, dedicated, and always ready to help. And then we have uh, from Yaroslav, uh, he said, Anastasia has been an amazing asset to the OpenEXO TNC team. She is resourceful, positive, creative, kind, diligent, and handles any tasks she is working on very well. She's grown greatly over the past few years and is one of the key factors behind the smooth delivery of all the training and certification programs. It's been a privilege to have her part of the team Thank you, Anastasia, for all the amazing work and contribution. And for Jill, uh, Yaroslav shared, Jill is a great professional. She's committed, resourceful, open-minded, consistent, and always able to get through any task thrown at her. She's grown over the years to handle an incredible amount of tasks, ranging from operations and logistics support, data processing, and media creation to event hosting and moderation. She brings a positive attitude and a smile to every meeting, and it's been great. It's been a great experience having worked together over the past couple of years. Thank you, Jill, for all you do on a daily basis. And then last of all, we have from Ray. Uh, he said, as a digital marketing service provider, we get to work with many different people in various companies. It's often the people in operational roles that we end up working with on a day-to-day -day basis. We find their level of engagement and how they view working with us are often defining factors that lead to success or failure. I'm pleased to say that working with Jill and Anastasia has been a highlight in our journey with OpenEXO. They co-create the space for a successful working relationship with our team. And so those are just some words uh, shared by the community. So I'm just going to welcome up here on the screen, on the stage, Anastasia and Jill. Welcome to the two of you. How Hello. are you? <laughs> Hello. Oh, thank you very much, Kevin. After these words, I feel so perfect. <laughs> I feel so inspired <laughs> and thankful. <laughs> thank you very much. And very, very pleased to be here. Awesome, thank you. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. That's that perfect. Was uh, uh, very much a surprise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, that's Amazing. perfect. And so we always start opening EXO Live asking, tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, so, uh, so Anastasia, maybe we can just start with you. Give a background about Anastasia. Uh, who is Anastasia up to when, uh, before you joined opening EXO? Yeah, well, um, so I'm Anastasia, as many of you know, uh, I'm 29. Uh, I'm originally from Russia. I grew up uh, in Russia, but I moved to Finland when I was 18. And I spent there four years of my bachelor's degree. And uh, then I live in Spain for uh, eight past years in south of Spain, in Granada, with my family, my daughter and my husband. 
and um, yeah so i i like working in my garden a lot and i'm working at open so for four years already and uh, yeah i'm a mother um uh, and i i really enjoy uh meditations uh and everything about discovering yourself as well <laughs> awesome awesome and joe i'm 33 and i am a mother of three kids um two girls eight and four and a little boy who's just turned one um i live in a little small town called george in south africa i've lived here for the past seven years um and yeah i i enjoy spending time with my family um i i love data as people know um and then i like working with my hands so anything from sewing um to building cupboards and basically anything in between um i love to learn new things and yeah i'm always challenging myself to learn a new skill wherever i can so yeah awesome that's that's really great and before we actually continue i do have to share some uh of the comments here that that came from from uh, from youtube and the first one is salim ismail uh and he just says i know that anastasia keeps all the trains running uh without <laughs> Uh, anyone even noticing and i remember jillian saving my backside over and over again during the exo world events uh, <laughs> which is great uh S salim is also asking why he doesn't get featured on nice uh, blue screens um <laughs> and uh, and then kent langley who's of course also part of the team has just said i wouldn't miss this one jill jillian and anastasia are two of the most amazing team members we've been working to support the open exo community deliver transformation so awesome thank you guys um, for being here watching and and for sharing the nice comments and so so like you said i mean you've anastasia you've you've been around uh since before it was called open exo um uh, b before i joined the team for sure um and i can remember when i joined i think you were on maternity leave um and uh, and and I think Jill now it's been like two and a half years. May I don't know, maybe maybe two years. Two and two and a half. It was the uh, beginning of two thousand and nineteen, um, and then yeah, but more so full time from from twenty twenty. So yeah, awesome, perfect, and and so as 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 you both said, you you're both moms. You both work from home. You're both doing an amazing job. Um, and so the the first question i have uh, you know is how do you actually do it um and you know for the people out there what are the secrets to uh to you know working in a in a remote company uh from home with with kids mm, well i i think the remote work is uh, is new for for me uh we come on remote work uh only uh maybe one year ago uh, before just before the pandemic and so before i could go to the office and my uh, and i you know it was it was very easy but since that uh when when we become on remote work uh it all got for me about really good time management it's like you have to really first you have to think about what you really do at each part of the day uh, like work with kid and the husband around and everything but then also it's all about multitasking like he, i suddenly <laughs> all become uh multitasking and uh in it's i cannot say if, if i would say that it's easy it's easy uh then i would lie <laughs> but it is challenging <laughs> but i think uh it's doable uh also i think uh uh if I, I must say big thank you to my husband. I think he has a superpower that I do not that I do not have because he is completely supporting. And I've been, I think I've been able to manage uh, work uh, and life at home uh, with the kid uh, at the same time just because of this constant support. I think that's the secret. If you have someone around you who can help you, that's uh, just perfect. <laughs> if not, then multitasking and. Uh, good time management probably <laughs> awesome. I, I do think the flexibility of opening so helps you know you balance a household i be it a bit chaotic mm -hmm. at times i'm also not gonna lie um from pushing babies with your foot in a pram to typing or being on a zoom call i know lots of people have seen me with my child strapped to me and a lot of zoom calls um 
but I think it's about making instead of it being an obstacle is actually just um, making it work. You just have to make it work. And mm. yeah, and I have to say the great support structure I have at home and I have my parents that live nearby, it's a huge help. Um, and without that, I think that is the key to success is making sure you have a good support structure around and then having kids and working at the same time isn't as difficult as you think. So. Yeah, I support Gillian with this. Um, <laughs> it's so important that opening so gives us this flexibility. It's really uh, amazing how we've been supported. And yeah, this flexibility just made this all smooth uh, and really um, possible. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, I would have to agree, of course. I, I, I don't have uh, the, the children, but as, as, of course, most people in the community know, uh, um, I I often find myself in a different country uh, and have have the ability to do that and and work. Um, sometimes uh, it's it's difficult from a time zone point of view, but don't go to those countries. Um, and <laughs> so so yeah. So now of course the the two of you uh, have 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 a few roles um, uh, within. Uh, uh, training and certification, as well as um, you know, with 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 other roles around uh, events on a lot of the time, and and so some people might be asking, well, can you share what it actually is like behind the scenes, um, uh, you know, of of OpenEXO? So I don't know if if you if you have any any particular stories you might like to share or anything like that that says, well, you know. This is this is 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 how it goes uh, behind the scenes. <laughs> oh, the, I think behind the scenes is is fun. It's uh, it's like uh, daily uh, interactions with a lot of a lot of people around the world, and it's so amazing. And I think like uh, each of us, we have um, in mind what we are going to do tomorrow. We have uh, our to do list, etc. But you never know like every day uh, can turn out completely different and that's what i think is uh, you know amazing for me it's so dynamic and behind the scenes could be uh, really um, could be really dynamic or could be uh, all as planned so you never you never actually know but i think uh, we are we are a relatively small team to manage such a big community right so I think we've been doing a great job. And behind the scenes, it's actually not a big team, but really uh, engaging, really interacting with each other every day uh, via different um, different media and platforms, always uh, always ha helping and willing to support. I, I've been really thankful for you know all the support from the team. And I think there is no better place for me <laughs> at the moment. So... I, I don't know behind the scenes it's uh, probably um, the daily the daily things are not so not so funny but if we speak about events that we have like live events and behind the scenes that could be like a different story that we could all share <laughs> that that's getting interesting as Salim already <laughs> saying we are saving each other <laughs> each other's <laughs> yeah situations so yeah yeah, yeah I think the, the same is I think a lot goes on behind the scenes. I think, yeah, there's mundane work like the, the admin stuff that goes that everyone knows that you do. I think everyone has got an email from us. Um, but we are a small team and I think we do pack a punch um, for, for the small team that we are. And um, yeah, I think there, there's always, I think the events show, show the, the fun side of things where on chaotic sides, where we are running around, um, maybe not physically running, but running around on our computer screens, I mean, can get chaotic, but we all have specialities. And I think each and every one of us delivers the best we can to serve the community in the end. Um, so I just, there's just so much that we actually do do and like small little bits. I just don't even think you can really list them because some of the stuff is really random. You know what I mean? From designing apps to, you know, running events to doing things. It's, it's, or it's a very vast, vast uh, thing. It's not just sending emails. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do a little bit more than sending emails. And so, <laughs> of course, uh, you've both already mentioned, you know, that that you get to work with this community that's that's around the world, right? Uh, you know, 130 countries, um, and so you know, 
are there any particular like experience or stories that you have, you know, working with with different people uh, within the community? Um, well, I have this uh, moment where I, when that I always uh, like to remember is uh, be, like before uh, pandemic, we used to gather together at least once a year with community members in different parts of the world when we used to like gather in person and uh, our one of the last events was uh, in Florida, in Miami, and we went there for the conference. We would spend a week together with, I think, 80 community members. And um, so it, for me, it was so great because uh, you, you, I never met people in person, but I, I entered the room, everybody said, hello, Anastasia, and everybody knew me and I knew everyone. Like I said, hello, Paul, hello, Salim, hello, Ken, everybody, and it was, it was amazing feeling like how you know people around the globe got together uh, in one room for you know for the unique purpose and i could feel this energy i could feel the special i don't know special moment uh in the air it was like it was really inspiring i could feel like really i'm a part of a of a big uh movement of a big thing and i felt really special that that moment i think after that i i could feel the same on our first exo world event you know this inspiration this energy when you get together really um with people around the globe but if these people are driven with one purpose and it really this is one story that makes me you know this is one thing that makes me uh, move and makes me uh, c constantly uh, improve things in this uh, community, in this work, uh, you know, because I, I could feel this energy still. So, no, absolutely. And, and actually, uh, Diego has been, has been saying, come on, we need to get together in real life again. So hopefully, hopefully sometime <laughs> soon. Uh, and, and Jill, on your side. Uh, look, I think I obviously, you know, I've, I've come in, in in a time where it's when meeting in person is is, is not really allowed. Um, but uh, yeah, I think what I enjoy most about working with the people is is generally meeting people from around the world. You know, hearing their stories, um, seeing how they bringing about change where they're living, and 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 that's it. And that's inspiring. You know, you look at Lars and his team at Planet Pilots and what they've done for kids. You know, I've got kids. It's inspiring to see um, all these stories and. You know, living in South Africa and in Africa, you know, we desperately need transformation in our country and we desperately need change. And and I think this community can do it. And I really, truly believe it. And and I want to be part of that journey. Awesome. That's yeah, that's that's really inspiring. And and so obviously, um, as I said, you there's a whole lot of things that you're working on. Um, but, you know, any any projects that are like happening right now that that you think, hey, folks should actually know about? Yeah, there are quite a few. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well, I think uh, we, we, we work with Jillian on, on mostly on the same projects. Uh, and we are currently working on foundations translation. Uh, we, we are building up a fund EXO Foundation certification in Chinese. Um, uh, together with our community member uh, John Kao, so um, we are almost there. We plan to release shortly, maybe uh, in the next month. We also working with Oliver from Germany uh, to launch the foundations in German. So we really uh, want to hit uh, globally. We want as many people as possible to to get through this uh, program and to step in uh in the exo journey really um also we are uh working with uh our exo partners around the world who would like to run exo consultant certification in their region so we are working closely to make this happen uh even in their local languages for example we are working as uh, as well with john to make this happen in chinese so i think that's that's really exciting and i can cannot wait to make this happen uh and uh, you guys know we are going to have this exo festival in october so really looking forward to it uh going to prepare and work hard and make this uh, amazing event together so I think these are like the, the big projects apart from the uh, certification uh, side that we run uh, on, on a regular basis. Absolutely. 
and 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 Jill, I mean, I I know you you've also helped uh, uh, develop a, 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 a bit of an an app for the EXO economy. Um, yeah, so that's hopefully going to go live at the end of August. So we just do the last steps um, on on just a. a a simple app for engagement so that we can draw engagement into the into the into the economy but actually also into the community itself um and that we start living and breathing by by doing um yeah so that's exciting and then everything else anastasia has already said <laughs> <laughs> absolutely so i mean it's it's really amazing everything that uh, that that the two of you do and like you've said how how pretty much the team and together with uh, the OpenEXO community, right? Because we we run the the core using the exponential model, right? We we are using staff on demand. We're using community and crowd. We're um, you know drawing on on algorithms in in this app that 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 Jill's like uh, been been working on, and and so much more. So it's uh, it's really been been great to be able to uh, shine a bit of a light on you, uh, let people know. These are the faces that you may have received an email from, um, and hopefully will uh, will be able to um, get to meet sometime in the future. But as we close off today's uh, call, if there is anything that you want to just share uh, as a closing remark, that'll be awesome. <laughs> well. I, I think I just would like to thank everybody who is watching, every everybody who is involved in the community, uh, everybody who has been supporting me, or if I supported you, also thank you very much for all, for everything. I feel very grateful. I feel very inspired by all of the people uh, who are, who are uh, close uh, to this uh, EXO movement uh, and to our community, uh, because this is what makes me uh, feel you know, part of the team uh, really important, do really important work uh, and, uh, you know, move forward. So I really appreciate you. And if if you need anything from me, any support, send me an email or maybe you can, you would like to chat uh, online on the video, uh, just let me know. So thank you very much for this opportunity also to, to speak up uh, with Jill and to you know to show up our faces <laughs> and say thank you to everybody like this in public. Awesome. Yeah, thank you to everyone. Um, yeah, we're not behind the scenes, so yeah, it's nice to shine a little bit of light. Um, but yeah, it could join us in October. We are really going to try and make uh, the event for the community and just make it something really incredible. So um, we're really looking forward to making. Uh, yeah, making that one of the events of the year. So looking forward to seeing you all then. Awesome. Well, it's a pleasure chatting to uh, the two of you. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining. And we'll chat to you probably tomorrow or something. Um, and, uh, have, a, have a fantastic evening in Spain and South Africa. You too. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> thank cheers. Bye-bye. So that was uh, Anastasia and Jill, uh, two key members of the OpenEXO team. We wanted to highlight them today as part of OpenEXO Live so you get to see uh, exactly who they are and to share what it is that, that they do. And so as we close out on the uh, call today, I'm going to close out with a video about our OpenEXO uh, consultant certification webinar that is happening next week. So if you're interested, you can head over to the link that will be scrolling across the screen. Otherwise, we'll see you all again uh, next week. Do you want to play an active role in the largest business transformation in history? Hi, my name is Yaroslav and I'm the Chief Learning Officer at OpenEXO, a global community of consultants, coaches, entrepreneurs and thought leaders helping organizations all around the world to benefit from the disruptive changes happening in their industries. I am responsible for the design and delivery of a suite of training and certification programs that train over a thousand forward-looking business leaders and consultants every year. Our programs help you to understand and apply the hidden recipe behind some of the most innovative and most successful organizations that exist in the market today. 
I want to invite you to an introductory webinar about the EXO Consultant Certification Program. This program has been designed to teach the inner workings of exponential organizations and to give you an opportunity to apply the EXO model in real life assignments. During the webinar, you will learn more about the content and structure of the certification, as well as hear from past participants about the value they received out of the program. The future of business will be led by exponential organizations. We can already see this by the number of unicorn companies disrupting almost every industry, as well as by the thousands of existing organizations applying the EXO model every day. Businesses around the world are looking to you to assist them in navigating the largest transformation of business to date. Join our webinar to unlock exponential growth opportunities for yourself and for your clients. I look forward to seeing you there.